um, before the SEA Games, wala namang naging issue. Like, everyone was just rooting for every Filipino athlete. Basta Filipino ka, we're rooting for you. Ganun lang mm. sila. And then after the SEA Games, doon na lumitaw yung mga problems na parang, uh, like, why do I have a Chinese surname? Tapos parang, uh, Chinese yung sport, that's why she won. Because she's Chinese. Um, tapos, it was, ano, I think I expected it na kasi oh. I've had past athlete friends who also experienced the same thing. They had a different surname. Tapos, they were also bashed for it kasi, you know, they won or something. So, parang, so parang, I think I tweeted that. Um, tapos, yeah. I didn't really expect it to boom. Yeah. And then, parang, um, parang sabi ko na, ano, sabi ko na, I won because, sorry, I won okay because lang. I was a... Fi- <laughs> Sorry, my tawag na tawag. Um, okay I lang. won because I was a Filipino and not because I'm Chinese. Because your, your, um, your certain name doesn't have anything to do with um, what, you, what you're capable of doing. Because actually, yung, yung middle name ko, it's Fernandez. Oh, okay. So, naisip ko, if my name was Agatha Fernandez, would people <laughs> not judge me? Would yeah. people not criticize me? Diba? So, yeah. parang, Actually, it's really it's really funny because in Wushu, I w- I'm the only one with the Chinese surname. Lahat ng mga teammates ko, they're, ano, they're parantak, inso, um, saklag. Puro sila Pilipino. Yeah. Ako lang yung may Chinese. Pero I have Filipino blood. I'm like hmm. uh, three-fourths Filipino or one. One, one half Filipino. Yeah, one Tapos marunong ako mag-Tagalog. Yeah. So parang, I saw, no in- I, I saw no issues with that because I never grew up in China. I never grew up in the States. I grew up here. So um, that's what I took to Twitter. Sabi ko, I won because I'm a Filipino and I will always fight for my country. I didn't win because of my surname and because mm. of my sport being Chinese. Yun. And everyone was really supportive. Parang yeah, I, I, I was really engulfed with... Um, <laughs> yeah, they were really supportive and I was really touched. Mm. So, yun. Yeah, that was when the time rin na talagang sumikat ka and people were like, magaling siya, we should give her direct recognition of being a Filipino. Kasi syempre, yung mga daming bashers na, I don't know why, pero they were saying yeah. random stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, nung sinasabi mo rin na you, sometimes you're okay with not being first kasi syempre, parang ikaw na yung nasa top. Pero how do you remain motivated? Even if yun nga, back-to-back SEA Games, you're already gold. Tapos, there might be SEA Games again this year and then maybe Asian Games next year. So, kamusta naman yung, uh, like, yeah, yung mental state mo and how you remain motivated in continuing to always, you know, be on top even if you're already there at such a young age? I think, ano, people just have to remember na every time, sa sports side, regardless of if it's wushu or golf or basketball, every time we end a competitive year, so every time we end 2019, 2018, yung efforts namin, it will go back to zero. So, walang guarantee na mananalo ka ulit next year or the year after that. Um, all you have to know is that you have to keep at your potential. For example, na nalo ka ng SEA Games this no 2019. You have to keep training to have that uh, to have that uh, physical capability. Kasi hindi mo alam pagdating ng 2021 SEA Games, umasenso na yung yung ano mo yung competitor mo tas nandun ka pa rin sa level na yun. So I think that's what also gets me going is that um, I never know if um, if someone's better than me. I just know that I have to keep going at it. You know, um, parang I'm al- I always have that energy for the uncertainty. So I think that's what made me fall in love with sports in general is because I know you never know if someone's going to be better than you. You never know if you're going to do, do so bad. But I think that's the beauty of it, the uncertainty of sports. Yeah, and in playing Wushu, I remember in one of your interviews, you mentioned the importance of self-discipline and hard work. So... How could you explain kung gaano ka important talaga yung dalawang yun in connection to what you said then in in continuing to improve and not you know resting on your laurels you know I think I know um I've been doing my sport I've been doing sports since I was 3 years old so I never really weaned off of sports completely and I'm 22 years old now so most of my life I've been doing sports um I think yung main takeaway na nakukuha ko as an athlete who trains every day is mawawala talaga yung ano yung yung source of motivation mo and your inspiration mawawala talaga siya kasi minsan you train for a competition that's months or even years away for example Olympics diba mm. like they train for it four or eight years before 
um, how are you gonna muster up the your your source of inspiration or mo- or motivation for that? If ilang days pa bago mm. ka magkompete in that competition, de ba? So talagang as an athlete, I think every athlete knows that you have to have discipline. Kahit na hindi athlete eh, kahit like in your career, your education, yeah. if you wanna be the best, you mm. cannot rely on these kinds of factors. That's very mm. fleeting. You have to. You have every time you wake up, feeling mo ayaw mo mag-aral pero gusto mo you have you want to be like you want to be in the honor roll. You have to do it because you know na it's good for you. So I think um just training your body to have the discipline, training your mind to just you know kahit na ayaw mo you have to do it. It's really a matter of um values and it's really a matter of responsibility. It's really a matter of commitment talaga. Mm-hmm. So I think for every person, one trait na they should acquire is really the discipline. Di bali na yung motivation if you don't have it. You always have yeah. to have passion and discipline. Kasi motivation, mawawala talaga siya over time. And mm. when you have passion and when you have discipline, when you pair um, those two together, it will make a really great combination. 